you know, I've had a succession of promotions and, you know, I've, I've come to the UK for work. So I think I thought oh, I must just be good at what I do and, and it will just come naturally to me. So this has allowed me to sort of strategize a bit more about my own development and about my own career and to appreciate the fact that, yeah, some of this might come naturally, but you do have to work at, at some of it as well if you really want to get to that um, true leadership rather than just a good manager. Topic. Trying to define leadership is a hugely philosophical debate, which is why it's best to try and frame it rather than define it. Um, you know, one size doesn't fit all. There is no leadership training course. I think this is personal development for leadership is probably the best way to consider it. I figured out during the course that I'm what I would say is more of a traditional learner. I like somebody to give me a book or teach something to me and I will take it in and I'll learn it. Whereas I think on this course it's it's much more down to you reflecting on your own um, traits, your own personality and, and how you might need to change that to become more effective as a leader. Uh, an appreciation of what it takes to be a good leader. I think you know there are a lot of, a lot of things and what, what Al's taught us and what we've developed ourselves as this training course has really helped us um, define the traits of leaders and that not everybody's got all of those traits, you just need some of them, but also to understand which ones you have got and work on them and make them stronger.